Hey good afternoon guys this is Baka Pachin Cholikar welcome back to test automation tool selenium in this video session we will discuss about how to start working with the chrome browser let's get started with the eclipse ide just i will tell you the simple scenario what i am doing here i will launch the web browser chrome web browser after that i will enter the gmail.com once i enter the gmail.com I'll just I'll print the title of the web page. That's it. Let's begin uh, creating the test case. Just click on the package. After that, press Control N and type class. You will get two options: Java class. Another one is TestNG class. Select the TestNG class. Click on Next button. Here you have to mention the class name here. So here I'm mentioning the Chrome browser. After that, click on Finish button and you, you got an uh, class that is chrome browser just format it properly so readability, readability will be good so here i am renaming uh, test case f with the test case 1 and after that what i am doing is in internet explorer driver if you know the how to launch internet explorer browser it is similar way you can launch the chrome browser so here i'm calling the one method called system dot set property and after that it takes two two arguments that is first one is string and second one is also string type so in the first type of string you have to uh, mention the web driver after that you have to mention the chrome because you was we were working with the chrome after that you have to mention the driver here you have to mention the .exe file so first i'll tell you from where you have to download the .exe file just you enter from your browser chrome driver dot storage dot google apis dot com forward slash index dot html once you enter this uh, url you will get uh, all the different versions of the dot exe files so in this case i downloaded the uh, 2.27 uh, version here you will get all the different uh, types of dot exe file with respect to different operating system in my case it is uh, windows operating system so i downloaded windows uh, operating dot exe file that is uh, gives you the in the format of zip file so just i downloaded and as and i unzipped it and i got the dot exe file just you take the dot exe file path i mention it it in the double quotation so in this case i'm using uh, backward slash you have to mention the entire path where exactly that dot exe file is located so in this case i am using the two backward slashes or else you can use one uh, forward slash that is it after that i'll create one object of chrome driver after that i'll assign that chrome driver object to the web driver object sorry interface here i'm mentioning the reference variable as a driver after that i'll import all respective packages sorry this should be the web driver type after that just import all uh, web driver packages that is it i'll call to the one method called get there you can enter the url ht ps colon slash slash www dot gmail dot com and forward slash and after that i need to 
print the title of the web page so here I'm calling one method by using the driver reference variable get title that prints me the title of the web page that is uh, gmail in this web page title, title of the web page is gmail here so that returns me the gmail and after that I am closing the browser by using the close method that is it let us execute this test case yes it is launching the browser and after that it is entering the gmail.com yes it is ent after entering the gmail.com and it is just printing the title of the web page as gmail and after that it is closing the web browser here you can see the total failures is 0 and the total test run is 1 that means it is working fine that is how you have to start working with the chrome browser that is it for the this video session if you have any queries please drop me an email to bakkappac at the red gmail dot com or else you can send out an whatsapp message to 843-125-3007 please share this video if you like if you like it thanks for watching